Yay. What's up, guys? I'm Adriana Mayan. I'm back with another episode of Spliffs and Giggles, brought to you by the Red Eye District. I have Ebony Mystique joining me today. She's been in the adult industry for three years. She's a porn star, and I'm sure you've seen some of her viral content online. Thank you so much for joining me today, bitch. <laughs> Thank you for having me. What's going on, beautiful? How the hell did we get you? Like, how did the industry get blessed with someone as fun and outgoing and like a genuine personality. This is no internet shit. Like you're really like this. Like how did you <laughs> decide to bless porn? Well, you know, um, when I get that question, it's pretty much brings it all the way back to the legend Pinky Triple X. That was, that's my ex manager now, but she's no been my manager and my friend to the end. Um, and she put me on her site. Uh, <clears throat> COVID-19 kind of brought me into the industry. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it kind of took off from there. It was right. not something that I thought was going to take and get as big as it did. Yes, but, right. you know, good timing, I guess. Hell and good, yeah. And good dick sucking, I guess. Hell yeah, so good. You got an exclusive contract. Mm -hmm. That's huge, especially for so early in your career. Did you feel like triumphant? Like, what was that like when you found out you were going to get that? Definitely oh so real. Mm -hmm. I didn't even come in the industry knowing about a lot of these companies, right, especially right. like browsers, because I wasn't an avid yeah. porn watcher. Oh, okay. Um, kind of thinking back, but moving forward, just that whole opportunity mm -hmm. was amazing, especially just within the first year of right. my porn career and me being a woman of color yes. and getting that done was um, something kind of more historical. Hell yeah. And stamped. So it's definitely valid. I'm very humble behind it. And yeah. Very good. I felt good about it. Hell yeah. Honestly, it's kind of crazy because I've seen a lot of girls, like, they want those contracts, they want that, and they just don't have that factor. Like, you know, that mm -hmm. it factor that a lot of those big companies look for. Because mm -hmm. you need someone who not only looks damn good, but really can perform. What do you think has been your strong suit or one of the things that kind of pushed them towards you? Do you think it's obviously your amazing body oh, or do you, you really think it's like the drama and the attitude you bring to your scenes? I definitely think it's a whole full circle. Yeah. Um, your professionalism was yeah. one thing, you know, not the fact that you know, I have my boundaries, so it's not like right. I'm a yes man. I do Got have my you. nose. Okay. But it was also the fact that you can count on me. Yes. I'm on time. Right. Um, and when them cameras roll, mm -hmm. no matter what you what I had going on personally, um, I put the, all that to the side and everything oh, comes yeah. out. So and I also bring my personality, right, a little bit of comedy yeah. into the whole factor. So kind of I think it's the whole thing. Yeah. You know, they kind of you can you can count on me mm -hmm. to make them numbers and Hell yeah. do the job. Oh, and you do some numbers. <laughs> it's actually astounding. Uh, I met Ebony through one of our mutual friends, Jocelyn Jane. Shout out to Jocelyn. And when she told me, she was like, you're going to be able to meet Ebony. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I literally was like, what? Like, genuinely shocked because a lot of the women who are successful but do more of the viral side of things, mm -hmm. you know, you they're usually in their own world. They're always working on content, always. So I was actually, like, shocked you, like, mingle with like other performers and stuff does it ever feel like kind of weird I guess to think that like so many people look up to you in the industry especially considering you've only been in for going on four years now the fact of the matter with that like I don't find it weird yeah. it's more humbling and I think that you know there is some intimidation at first yeah okay so to kind of break the barrier to let people know that I still am human. Right, I do right. have a personality. Mm -hmm. I do give a fuck mm -hmm. about people. Um, I'm not like a weird person. Right. Um, that makes it. That makes me feel better. Like, hell yeah. Because they sometimes people don't think they can approach me. Mm -hmm. And then the first, like, I didn't think you was so cool. It's like, well, that's fucked up. Right. You know, so I love it. It's just, I love people. I'm yeah. a social person. Absolutely. So I don't, I don't mind the love. You show me love, I'm going to give you 10 times more love back. Do you think that the industry was like a perfect fit for you? You know, because we, we're always interacting with new people. There's so many social aspects with fans, with your peers and stuff. Do you mm -hmm. think that this is kind of like home for you? Or it's is definitely it a stepping stone. Both. You mm -hmm. know, it started out as a stepping stone, mm -hmm. but me kind of planting my feet on solid ground in right, the industry, right. my accolades, you know, the things that I've done, you yeah. know, the Playboy Centerfold, the yes. awards that I won, the... Um, AB and covers, 
like that all shows me that I did have a home Hell in the industry. Yeah. So I, I love the industry. Yeah. Um, I don't have too many horrible stories about it. Mm. Um, so with that being said, I think the industry, there is a, you know, it is a mainstream industry just like yes. music would be. Yeah. You know, but um, I think it is a very free place. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you can be there any any type of person you are. You'll have a fan. Right, yes. If you're a smaller person or a bigger person, or, right, you know, right. a green person, a red person, <laughs> like somebody going to like what you get. I think Absolutely. everybody has something special that yeah. they bring to the table. So, Hell yeah. Do you think that that helps you dictate kind of who to work with? Like, do you search for people who are sure of themselves or is it strictly just a work-based thing? Like, if you know that their work is fire, you're down. Well, just recently, I'm not, I'm, I still have management, but I'm not as micromanaged. Got you, got you. So the first few years of my career, up yeah. until maybe like the last few months, I wasn't able to make those type of decisions got for you, myself independently. You. I did have a voice right, as far right. as that, but... You know, I leave it to the goats and the legends yes, yes. for that. But um, I definitely feel like when I think about people that I want to work with mm -hmm. personally, especially like on my independent sites, it definitely right. has something to do with um, their professionalism. Yes. Um, of course, how they present themselves on camera. Yes. And yes. Um, just their energy. You know, a lot of the yeah. sometimes if we have the time, I like to get to know a person oh, good. beforehand. Yeah. Not so much like. You know the babysitters club right, type right, shit, but, but at least have a conversation right, so I could fill them a, out, yeah, catch a it. vibe. They can get my vibe mm -hmm. and see if we even have a vibe because it is about chemistry. You know? Hell yeah! Understanding the fact that it's a job, right? And we're not friends, as yes. I said. You don't have friends in the industry, yes, yes. But there is a vibe check Absolutely. that I feel like that needs to happen, especially for me when it's on my independent site. Yeah. I'm paying. For the person yes, to be there. Yes, I want it to be. I'm in production. Right. Hell so, yeah. You know, there are times where I do collabs and stuff like that. Right, but that's right. more on my friendship level. Got you, got you. Know you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like when it's about, I stand on my business. So Good. it's just important to have for me a vibe check and make sure the person is even reliable because I'm putting my money up. <coughs> that's so big. That's that fire. <coughs> that's that gas. <coughs> that's that gas. <coughs> What you smoking on right now? That's that And you gas. made a good ass point too. So I like, <laughs> I was feeling that. Mm -hmm. But that shit's real. I tell people, I'm like, I get it. Everyone's into doing content trades and stuff now. But I'm like, if you really want to take your work serious, hire someone. Because then you control everything. You don't leave it up to what they want to do. It's what you want, your vision. I think a lot of people, unfortunately, aren't creative. Like, at all. like there's just no like real creative drive and that's one of the things that like i'm actually a fan of you i love your Thank content you. because one in certain content obviously you're just you you're being ebony you know and it's hot and it's funny but it's like sexy as hell but then you also have these characters that you develop and <laughs> accents that you use sometimes where does that come from? Because the granny thought is one of my... I, yeah, I brought it up to her like four times. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, baby. Where did that even come from? Well, my background is in creative arts, mm. you know, um, which a lot of people don't know. You yeah. Know? I'm, a fa I'm a celebrity fashion designer way before porn. I had a lot of times on set, movie sets. Yeah. Um, mu music sets right, with a lot right. of people. So I had a, um, a moment in my life where I was able to kind of get the feel for acting. Mm. So I have an acting background. I have Love a creative that. arts background already. Like mm. I know how to take a script and entomb myself with characters. So that kind of may be yeah. the whole thing because I'm big on parodies. Yes. Like if you give me a Southern Belle or a Granny Thigh, baby, um, a <laughs> Tina Turner, a Foxy Brown, right, which was that. one of my most viral yeah. um, kind of series. Um, I think I could do anything. And that's the Hell first yeah. thing about it is confidence. I mean, if you're going to do some shit, Hell you yeah. might as well, if you're going to do it, do it all like, the way. Really go for go it. Go research that person. Right. So, yeah, I just kind of, I think about my granny when I do granny thought. You know, I think about uh, Pam, uh, yeah. oh man, I can't remember her name. <laughs> Pam Graham when I think about Foxy yes. Brown. Yes, yes. And I oh researched it. I watched Coffee. Mm, I watched mm -hmm. uh, Foxy Brown. When I, watched, when I did the Tina Turner scene. Right, right. You know, and then I, with my fashion background, because yeah. I'm also in the wardrobe. 
Like I'm in the detail. Okay, I was gonna ask yeah. your outfits. Like sometimes mm. you get lucky, especially because you were a contract star. Like that's big. Mm. But I'm like, your outfits were just too good. Like sometimes <laughs> I'm like, I know that's not someone on set. Like, is that you? Like your influence? That's definitely me. It comes from oh, my, my come from my background. Like even with the uh, Foxy Brown scene, it wasn't yeah. like and no shade to Amazon, but there's a place in Hollywood that you could spend an extra two hundred dollars right, right. and get a real. Afro wig yeah. with human hair, or with my Tina Turner. I didn't. Right. I didn't want the ones that was on the websites online. Mm -hmm. I wanted it made to mm -hmm. resemble Tina, like and really look like. When it. I did the Coming to America, yeah, I got a dress made. That dress cost me a thousand dollars. I was gonna say yeah. half of this stuff. It's it's like the best cosplay you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy, but it's just it's a it's an a testament. Like. Your skill, like your background, because your content is astounding. I see you, you everywhere. When you see yourself on the promo videos and stuff, or people send them to you, I'm sure, from sites and stuff, mm. does that make you feel good? Like, you know your work is, like, really reaching people. I definitely do. Um, I appreciate the love, yeah. you know? Because for me, my thought in doing this is not yeah. to go viral. Gotcha. When I'm doing something, it's not to... And I do consider... The masses, because there's a lot of people that's watching. Right, yeah. But I definitely mm -hmm. do it for myself. Right. You know, I think about me. Would if, if it's not tasteful to me, got then they you, probably wouldn't you. like it. Right. You know, so I really try to think about me. I'm my biggest critic. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly my number one fan. You know, I think it's very important okay. on a humble aspect. Right. You know, and it's okay to be a little cocky, but not annoyingly. Yes. But I'm yeah. talking about when you talk about your business, you have to be confident in what you're Hell selling. Yeah. You're a salesperson. This is a business. I'm an independent contractor first. So it's important for me just to make sure that I bring quality. I don't shoot on, I shot on red cameras. Right. You know, right. I wanted to take the extra step Hell when yeah. I have my cinematics was important. Like right. the home shit is cool Hell sometimes, yeah. but. I, my locations are important. Yeah. You know, um, I pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. And again, that comes from my background of film, of fashion, yeah. interior interior decorating. Yeah. It's just very important. So I think all of that flows throughout my scenes Hell in the industry. Yeah. Important. When you're curating like a scene, do you just come up with these things on the spot or are you got a little notebook that you're jotting stuff down if you get an idea? Like, how do you come up with the idea from the scene? Because you have so much detail into it from the outfits to the location, like you said. How does that all come about? Well, a lot of it comes from the directors mm -hmm. that I work with. Right. And uh, getting their kind of idea of things. But like, I do have pr uh, on IBM I M B M D or whatever the yes. fuck it's called. I do have production and directorial credits. Oh, not just bad. talent. I got you. <clears throat> so, with that being said, um, when it is something that, like, even browsers, I directed for browsers yeah. before Model Time. When it, when I feel like these major companies, these right. billion dollar companies, come to me and ask me to do a film for them, I yes. feel like that's you know this is my time to show them. Hell yeah. What is in my brain. Yeah. And as a director behind the camera, your job is to make your talent, if you can, yeah. comfortable. And they're they the figment of your imagination. Right, they're a product right. of your imagination. So it's important from, for, for them to do that because you're behind the camera. So I do take notes. I do a lot of research. Yeah. Um, I want the best mm -hmm. that I can give. If it's not good enough, I'm not putting it out. Like there's things that I have shot and I had a reshoot. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. I I say the quality has diminished so much in the industry. So that's very refreshing mm -hmm. to hear, honestly. And I think, ironically, COVID is really like when it happened. Mm -hmm. But as you see, we got blessed with some actual mm -hmm. fucking talent. So you're not picky, but you do actually curate your scenes. I'll say, like you actually like pay attention to detail. So when you're looking for a male talent mm. and there, all the, yeah, let's take a drink to that. All the drama to go through, the dick sizes, whether or not they're going to do the testing standards. Like what is your little checklist for guys? Cause I'm sure you also get thousands of messages a day and comments. I'd love to do a scene with you. I'd love to do a scene with you from talent as well. 
How do you decide? Like, what's your little checklist for them? Well, first of all, like, I def- that goes for male or female. Like, if we going to work, I want to see it work. That's important to yes. me. Like, and, and, and it's not the fact that you need hella following or nothing like that. Right. It's the fact is I want to see blankly how you fuck. Right. I mean, if you ain't, if you if I don't got nothing to work with, because everybody kind of feel like they could do the job, mm-hmm. but they forget that this is a job. Yes. So it's important for me to see, you know, sexually what you what you look like on camera, what you're doing on camera as far right. as dick size. I feel like either you got a big dick or you're a grower. It's a penis. When yes. it's getting when it's hard, mm-hmm. you know, and that's a fetish in itself. Sometimes you have yes. a small penis fetish and mm-hmm. or, or like so I'm I'm very keen and I like I said, I like to, my fans are the paying people. Yep. So they do matter to me. Right. So the fact of the matter is, maybe they want to see a bigger dick. Maybe yes. today they want to see a normal size dick. It's all relatable. That's, I feel like what porn is. It's a yes. fantasy, but people like to be able to relate to what right. they're watching. Absolutely. And if not, they want to be able to be turned on by yes. it if they can't relate. Exactly. You know, it's the, kind of a catch-22. Mm-hmm. So I definitely look at... um Mainly it's just about the performance of the person because right. it's business. I don't really give a fuck about the personality yes. okay. of the person because mm-hmm. if you're paying somebody, usually mm-hmm. they're going to show up and show out. Right. It's See, different if it's... That's the what, difference. You know, when you got a check involved, it's yes. a lot different than somebody just, you, you know, you're just doing some shit. Right. People so, are on their best behavior on their they're best about to behavior. get paid. Uh-huh. And they also know that usually um, if we're going to do some shit, it, it could be life changing. So there right. is some sort of like um, respect Absolutely. about the whole situation right. from the beginning. So I think that um, I, I do a lot of research on the person, just enough for me to hire them. But mm. the personal shit, like my thing is, I'm a one and done type of person when it comes to business. Like I don't got really you, got have you. too much time to play about it. So, you know, I'm understandable about Natural occurrences. Right, right. You know, shit, my, I got in a car accident. Okay, right. cool. We'll reshoot you. Okay. Now, if you get in a second car accident. Right. We got something to talk about. I'm probably yeah. not going. It's over. It's probably there. not yeah. going to happen no more. I you know that. what I mean? I'm blessed you maybe send you an edible arrangement, but I ain't fucking with that shit yeah. no more. You know, um, business is not to be played with because just like I'm not going to waste your time. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't want to buy waste my time because that's the most valuable thing and that's the Absolutely. most thing you can't pay for and get back. So it's just an understanding. Yeah. Period. Have you ever had a time before, and I'm sure not in your contract, honestly. Um, it's one company is when they contract you, your family to them. So they really do make sure you're taken care of, especially when you're on set. Um, but when you got out of your contract, you opened yourself up to work with all these new companies and such. Have you ever had a time where you gave them a one and done because you were like, you know what? This just isn't working for me. Like it's it's a little too uncoordinated. Mm-hmm. Like everything's just actually to be real, mm-hmm. a buck with you, I haven't had no bad situations. I love that. In the industry. Like and I've shot even before my contract. Yeah. With all of the companies that I felt like I wanted to shoot right, for. Right, right. Even some companies that I haven't got a chance to shoot with. Yeah. Cause I kind of was sold up off the market. Yeah. Um I know the directors that work there. Oh, you good, know, good, right. It's just timing mm-hmm. type shit. Mm-hmm. Even with Bigson brand, of course, they're more of a natural brand, but right, right. I know Manuel Ferrer very yes, well. I yes. know Caden. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, so mm-hmm. they just started a new site, Milfy. Mm-hmm. And that's more yes. for like um, kind of the MILF. Right, it, right. It, it, it's around MILF, but it's not so much natural. Got body you, got based. you. You know, and some of the girls plastic now anyway, then I got the titties yep. done. So things are changing. Right. But even with Vixen, my fans, due to the fact of them wanting to see me on that site, yes. the fans kind of sometimes mm-hmm. get you the scenes. Hell yeah. Because they can't keep bugging them. See, keep no, that shit's me. real. That's so, real. But that's not, my body type is not something that, it doesn't fit Vixen's right. brand. So just having these conversations, because this is my brand. Yeah. You know, we, we want you, right. but I can't go to surgery just for a scene to take the shit out. Right, right. You know what I mean? This is it. This yeah. is all. This is me. You know, so mm-hmm. different different strokes for different folks. Mm-hmm. But the fact of the matter is um, my um, time in the industry yeah. has been very good for me. I don't really have too many people on the no list or no directors that I don't fuck with. Right. Like, the shit been... Like been like been humbling. They've been more respectable yeah. without me having to like force the respect. No, absolutely no, <clears throat> and that's 
I'll tell you, I've asked that question to many girls, mm-hmm. and I think you're one of two who said that. And that was recently. This girl also started like a year ago. So it's like, I love how the industry has really stepped it up. Not because, to cut you off. You know no, what I think good. it was? I kind of started out with my team, Pinky Triple X. Right, right. And then I went straight to independent and made my own name in my independence. Right, right. So by the time they was looking at me shooting for them, yeah, they, they were already knew. The shit that they I, had this step. During correctly. COVID, Adele Empire, which is the main VOD yes. uh, uh, company right. for uh, digital films, mm-hmm. during COVID, we went consecutive number one bestseller for seven weeks. So if you know what Adele Empire is, Hell that's yeah. where all the companies <coughs> mm-hmm. host their stuff digitally yes. for you to watch their movies. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's my black that's, ass was at the number top. one bestseller for seven, weeks. God for seven damn. weeks. Like you check the first week, it's still number one. Yeah. Number one. So I think before, Amazing. like before they even hired me, yeah. they already knew. What it was, right, what right. I was capable of doing. Yeah. yeah. So I think Honestly, that was important. That's so what good. that goes to say, don't think that what you're doing on your own mm. ain't good enough. Right. Because they watching. Trust me, they watching you. Hell yeah. Especially if they hitting you up. You know Absolutely. So just put your 100% in everything you do, but maybe right. put a thousand percent in the shit that's for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's your brand. Yes. That's my thing. I'm like... Not that you can't do like the more homey stuff or whatever, like the more cam style content, because that works for some people. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I think there is a difference in when people want to get angry about the word porn star. I'm like, there's a difference. I'm like, there are some content creators who have become porn stars. Yes, but they've transitioned into that. You know that you grew into that. But you, I would say, are a porn star, like a real porn star. Like back in the day, how they classified porn stars. I'm like, that shit's real as fuck. Appreciate that. You too. Oh, thank you. The name is, the word, excuse me, is so loose. Yeah. Because before you couldn't say porn star without having some accolades, Mm -hmm. some box covers. Some some DVDs. Exactly. You just Thank did porn. You. Yes. You were like a pornographer. Oh, you right, did porn. Right. But the word porn star it's is so like, loose. Like, right. And no, and everyone's using it now. Yeah. Everyone is. So we just have to maybe get to the basics of what the fuck is really going on. Mm-hmm. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. You know, to be a star, yes. you gotta probably It's levels to it's it. Level. And I'm like, and it's okay, some people they like they get upset because they're like, oh, I was a porn star. I'm like, exactly. It's okay. It could be a past tense thing. Like, you had it. Like, and it's Nobody okay can say if nothing you, from you. Right. It's like, some. it's just, there's transitions. You grow out of it. There's movie stars and then there's people who used to do movies. It's like, Vanilla Ice. Ex- they. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fuck my child. <laughs> ice, ice, Be, baby. Uh, me too. <laughs> God damn it, Ebony. You know I'm high. You know I'll get sidetracked. Speaking of which. Out of all the you smoking shit the that fuck you out did, that shit, man. Ebony, what other Ooh. goals do you have for the industry? For the industry? Yeah. Like, what do you want an award you want to get? Are there certain oh, dicks no. you need to have? Um, Are you going to create <laughs> your own agency? Are you, you going to do your own production company like and like roll up in this hire like, other damn, people damn. only and be behind the camera? Mm. Mm, that was hot. It's a free roll up. I'm coming. Hope I don't get fucked up in this bitch. Um, check it out. My goals for the industry. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't really have too many goals. Right. I feel like all the goals that I had set, mm-hmm. which weren't that many because I didn't know what to expect. Right, right. I knew that I want to make a lot of money. Did that. I knew that I wanted to be a Playboy model. Because to me, that was porn. Hell, no, and that's like a star thing. That's like, unfortunately, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, but I knew I wanted to do Playboy. <laughs> and I did that. Contract, I didn't even know that that was possible. Right. But we did that. Hell yeah. Black ass uh, on the cover of AVM. Hell yeah. I remember my first year in porn, uh, going to AVM before the little shutdown. And right. I, I, we got my, my my team got me my booth. That's my first time ever knowing about Avian, going to Avian. We've got a booth. Hell yeah. And I remember walking in there and, you know, everything is blown up. Yep. People are blown up. They look oh, yeah. like giants. And I remember seeing Kira Nior and Anna Fox. Yes. Blown up. And mm-hmm. I walked in there like, told my team like, 
yo, I want to be, how you get up there? Yeah. And then to have it done last year, well, what was actually this year, yes. January, I walked yes. through that motherfucker. I'm big as fuck going to Vegas. Like, though, that was, those were my goals. Yeah. Like, I feel like my, my goal for the industry is just to, now that I'm back, because I took a little break off, I needed to start some businesses and take yeah. some time to myself, gave a lot of time to everybody else. I feel like it's for me to go harder. Yeah. So my goal in the industry <clears throat> is to keep giving my fans what they expect. Yeah. And that's Ebony Goddess Mystique. Knowing that Ebony Goddess Mystique Hell yeah. uh, doesn't have a birthday. Mm -hmm. She don't have no feelings. She yeah. don't bleed. Ebony Mystique is a character. Yeah. She's an entertainer. Right. So with that being said, it's nothing personal. It's all business. Mm -hmm. Just to go... Harder than what I did last year yep. and the year before. So that's my goal for the industry. Management, there's a lot of people that want to manage me. But even with right. that being said, I be trying to figure out, number one, do I have the time and the momentum to take that on? But right. what exactly are you looking for me to do for you? Because I can't, I, what yeah. I can't do is lie to you and tell you, all right, if you do this, you're going to get contract. Mm -hmm. I don't own browsers. Right, right. I don't own... I own my yes, shit. I can tell you what. Yes. I, could, I could tell you I could shoot you. Mm -hmm. I could tell you I can give you your rate. Right. You know, but I can't tell you that you're going to hit a million views. Yeah, because if the, the fan, I could try. Mm -hmm. I could tell my fans, hey, if you love me, go subscribe. Right. <laughs> but they they own people. Right, you know what right. I mean? So just being more realistic. Sometimes you be too real for the fame, too real for TV. Right, right. And at the end of the day, that's if I'm taking stuff on like that, people in yeah. their lives, because this is serious, mm -hmm. um, I want to be able to give them no cat. Right. And sometimes people want cat. <laughs> they want that fake shit. Not the, that's the crazy part about it. I feel like there's a, a difference in like the sides almost. Like in L.A., I'm so overwhelmed by how fake, like, some of the performers are. Usually the crew are cool. I'm cool with, like, most of the crews over there. But I'm, like, a lot of the performers over there, I just, like, can't fuck with like that. Like, they're cool. Like, they're fun to work with and stuff. But, like, I'm just like, eh, you know? But I feel like in Miami, I mesh with so many of the people over here. Like, it's just a different you call vibe call LA 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 Land. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you, you in LA, you be this real big person. Yeah. Because it's La La Land. Right. Leave the West Coast, mm -hmm. and you 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 find out real quick you're not as big as you thought mm -mm. think you are. Mm -mm. You go to a convention outside of L.A., Hell nobody yeah. knows you. Hell yeah, your no, line that looking crazy. Tumbling. That shit right. got crickets. Yep, that shit tumbling. Oh God, mm -hmm. it really is. Um, so I think it's important to relate to the masses. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think that you just stuck in one place, right? You know, bridge out. I done been to Europe and shot. Um, Ooh. Yeah, it's important. You got, I mean, people be having international fans. Hell yeah. When you were um, in Europe and shot, were you doing legal porno? No, no, no. Um, shout out to legal. I'm not probably going to be doing legal porno. But I, I like... Anyways, it was just more mind geek because at the time I'm contracted. Oh, lit. No, lit. That's fire. So it was like fake taxi, fake hub, fake hostel browsers. Amazing. Hell yeah. No, those father. are dope. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. Yeah. I need to give a shout out to, I can't, okay, here's the thing. Shout Mama Wana King. Mama Wana. Right? That's so cute. It's like boozy weed or weedy booze. Well, damn. I'm like, I might have to hit that. What's it going to do to me? It's going to make wait, me get what is it? freaky again this hook. My oh, elbows is kicking in. Shout out to Power Plant. Right, Chaz. Okay, here we go. Oh, dear. This shit tastes like Robitussin, but it's good. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what it you tastes taste like to me. You can taste the weed in that motherfucker, you first of all. You can't taste the weed. I'm like, I don't know what yeah, it tastes like to me. that should have got you fucked up, babe. Shout out to Moana. You're going to have to ease that one and Do not get that to your granny. It's going to get fucked up. Granny thought does not approve. Granny, baby. <laughs> baby, don't give me that. Good God. What has been mm -hmm. your favorite scene that you've done? Because you've done some pretty iconic ones. Okay. There's two. Um, definitely my Foxy Brown series. Hell yeah. That definitely changed my life, but... It's definitely my uh, T.S. Paris scene. Yeah. Yeah, my trans scene. Yeah. That definitely changed. Did that know? open your eyes when you saw how people responded to it? 
Because when I got in in 2014, people were not open to you it. Oh, like that. You know, they were this first No, I'm old all. as fuck. That's the issue. No, it ain't I'm, that you I'm old. You look old. amazing. I'm but born you old. You are a motherfucking legend in thank this you. whole. Thank Shout you. out to you. God oh, damn. Thank you. But no, really, when I got in, people like, really, they were not open to it. And it was so weird because. You don't know what people are doing in their day-to-day lives anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, your your scene partners, you trust them because they got tested and they're your scene partners, but it's yeah. like, you don't really know what they're doing. So if that's something you really don't want them doing, it's like, you would have never known anyway. This part. But were you a little shocked at the response that you got? Because your trans scenes do so good. Um, Shocked is an overstatement. Yeah. I was flabbergasted yeah. as to what the fuck went on. Right. Um. That motherfucker shit made me into a seven-figure nigga. Hell yeah. Like, the shit was crazy. And mm-hmm. it actually opened up the doors for heterosexual men yes. to be comfortable, especially right. black men, yes. Yes. to be more comfortable watching, you know, right. scenes like that. Absolutely. You know, you have to teach them the language to be more mm-hmm. respectable. It's not a tranny or a she-man. Right. That's rude. But, um, I mean, in this day and age. Yes. <clears throat> but they don't know no better. Right, But right. I know that they wanted to see it. I, 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 I heard that I was in barbershops, yeah. in jails, and people talking about that scene. Yeah. And then, clearly now you see a lot more of it through people right, of color. Right, right. So, um, definitely stamped it. Yeah. Um, uh, I give myself that credit for sure. Mm-hmm. And I felt like we killed it because Paris is beautiful. Yeah, she got a big ass dick. Yes, and it looked so fucking good. Like, so shout out to Jeremy from Pinky Triple X. He found her, and he really because it was just something that uh, first of all, Pinky Triple X wanted to do, never got a chance to do. That's right. Right. Came up. I talked to a few guys in the industry, even some legends that are not active. Right. About if I did this. Do you think I could still? Absolutely. People still want to right, I got right. a lot of input. No, but that's it's a real thing. <laughs> a researcher. I promise. You know what I mean? No, and that shit's real. I didn't want to cancel myself out. No, and some people, I swear, not that like, I really give a fuck. Right, but it but is annoying because it's something you do have to deal with. Sometimes there are still performers who are against it, and they will put you on their no list if you know that you work with trans people. And I'm like, it's again, it's so insane because it's like you don't know what people are doing in their personal life. But for anyway. me, that's like, that's it's like silly. so hypocritical. No, oh, it. You want to know why? Because is. if you look for a girl, girl. Thank you. What you Thank call you. that? Thank you. Thank you. That's lesbianism. Like, and what? You're lesbian. And it's like, so are you, are you gay or not? Because if you're if not, you're gay it's for the pay, same that's thing. rude. But it is what it is. Right. You know, in the LGBTQ right. plus community, they don't really think it's respectable to say you're gay for pay. Right. Or nor less that you would DL and you just consider that, oh, I'm not a... Right, and you won't, you just won't admit it. And it's like, the and thing is... And you say is, rule terminology about right? it. Right, and like, it's like, no one cares. It's the way you're acting about it. Like... Stand on business. Right. Wear it's, that shirt. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of shirts... <laughs> We do have That's some shirt. shirts, right? Oh, you know what? You actually have a great fucking shirt on. All right, shout out to Assholes Live Forever. I'm right. your motherfucking black ass uh, brand ambassadors. <laughs> and check it out. They be giving me all this dope ass gear. Right. And today I wore this for you motherfuckers in 2024. This for everybody. Stop having sex with broke men. Or women, they should put a W right here for the guy. Right. Because you your mama's son, you your mama's Amazing. daughter. Look, oh, that's pretty. It's a mushroom. But it I thought sure it was a is. dick at first. I wouldn't I want nobody like, to use that at all. That was, They couldn't use that. Right? One. I'm like, it's so Find beautiful. Your own. Eye Candy Crush. Thank Shout you. Shout out to Eye Candy, candy crush. crush. That's real cute. Wow. I like it. It's giving that psychedelic, beautiful right? color. Right? And we have all these mushrooms here anyway. Oh, wow. Ebony, the thing is, you're like one of the vibiest people. Do you think that that helps you, like, <laughs> decide what people you'll keep working with? Like, if they're, like, really cool, if they have a perfect, like, performance when you're shooting them? Because sometimes you do collab, not a lot, but you said sometimes you do. And that can get kind of sticky with people that you're friends with sometimes. You know, they get a little lax when you're kicking in shit, like... Shit, look, if you ready to do the job, yeah, it's a vibe all the time. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, you feel me? I'm not here to judge nobody. 
Um, right. When we work and we work and when it's playtime, it's playtime. Hell yeah. You know, just understanding the difference. And you're going to get a little bit of both on my set. Right. Because we are, you know, I try to make people comfortable and I'm, I, I need yeah. to be comfortable. Oh my God, yeah. So um, performance is pretty much where it's that, okay. Candy, candy, candy. I candy crush. Ike is definitely, well, goddamn. Right. But you, you go on and smoke the eye candy. That looks good to me. You look good to me, smoke. I know she look good to y'all smoking it. Like, she's I said, I kid she's, she's like, like kid um, I'm fucking, oh, Ebony, <laughs> oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Have you seen this woman naked? I know you guys have. That's a fucking joke. Ebony, your body, when did you know? You were like, I'm going to snap this shit. It's about to be bimbo. That was but, like, a meeting. Tight and, Those like, were meetings. Like, Meetings Girl. and construction, because the first my first few scenes is me without all of this, any enhancements. Right, and right. And then it was like really a business, a business move. Yeah. For me and my team, because they decided that, you know, there was nobody out at the time that looked like me. Right. You know, let's go back to old school porn again. If yes. it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so it was pretty much about the bimbo look. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta look fuckable. Mm -hmm. Look fuckable. Give controversy. That's what they want. That's Walk through the want. room and be like, oh, she must be in the porn and do some right. kind of sex Right, yes. Thing. And you know, if that's what you do, stand on it. I'm not oh. shy about it. There's no regret in it. Mm -hmm. I am who I am because I am who I am. So, hell yeah. My walk away is expensive as a motherfucker. Right. Yes, I will fuck the shit out of you and your lady. I will. Ooh, you like a threesome. I like a threesome, a foursome, a six some. I get a little confused when it gets to too many people because it's a lot going on. But right, yeah. I could let it literally uh, entertain all mm -hmm. everybody. I just did a blow bang for my site and I drained all six of them. Six dicks to yourself. That's I wanted beautiful. it to be 10, but it got a little uh, more hectic mm. with the production of it. But um, yeah, um, sure. I'm into like safe um, co ed sex. You know? Shit, if I could, I'd drain oh my God, everybody yeah. in the whole oh wide God. world. Yes. And just line them up. The thing is, I'm like, if everyone just could just get up. tested regularly and we could stay on top of that, I would fuck so many more I'm people. I'm trying to forget about the number of motherfuckers I fucked. As a matter of fact, Why? I'd already have, but if I could fuck every man in the world, you're gonna get there, Abney. I We're would. both at a race. We're no, at a they race. no weird motherfucker. I would fuck them if they ain't got no weird background. Right, you know right, yeah. And they clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in there. Yeah, I don't mind shit. So you don't have a type. You'll take it. You like a dick. Oh yeah, I mean all dick get hard. Shout out to all dicks. They do get hard. Okay, so a micro penis. I love a micro penis because I like to play with them because I have big hands. I think it's funny, like when they're in my hands. <laughs> That's funny. It like entertains me. Um, so that's like my weird thing. So no, cute. and I love it. I'm like, mm. I'm like, let me use my fingers because that's all I can do. That's I think I can that's do. so funny. And they're like, well, you have big hands. I'm like, I know. Look how little your dick is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Not my hands, it's your dick. Right. It's beautiful. Well, to me, it's beautiful. It's Sometimes beautiful. they're sad. So cute. But the fetish, you know, again, there's something for everyone. What's a weird little fetish that you didn't think you would like? indulging for your fans that now you're like, oh, that's my shit. They love it. Come. Really? I'm a come freak. Like Where? I, Anywhere? Your face? Your anywhere. pussy? I'm a cream pie thing. Anywhere. I need it. Anywhere. I want it. You want it? Mm, yeah. Bake me. I just don't want a porn baby. Even though I'm on 300 types of uh, <laughs> birth control... Uh, I don't give a fuck. Sometimes <laughs> that shit don't work, madam. Um, and yeah, I'm not about that's to have real. me no porn baby because I don't know who no, the motherfucker. No, no, no. I don't want a porn baby because I don't know who the fuck the baby daddy is. The thing is, you're all that fucking baby daddy. Julio. The Julio. <laughs> oh, you ready? Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> Look, we doing some shit, y'all need no mind you business. Just, just mind your business. Everyone close your eyes. Just mind like, your business. Just, just mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ebony. Wow. A Fresh Prince reference. Oh, God. That was if beautiful. they don't know what that is, they had cable No, TV. that was a beautiful black moment for oh, us. I love that. Aw. <laughs> I really hope they got that. Yeah, I, I mean, really if you did, and you ain't had cable TV. Right? We're screwed. Oh, All Father who art in heaven, <laughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Give me the come. God knows what we're doing. Mm. 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 
kingdom come in my bum. See? You see? In my bum. Right? Oh my God, this is actually perfect. Would you mind doing a little a 360? 360? And you gotta show off the shoes. You really have to. That was the most nerdy 360 in the world. Fuck that, I'm vanilla, baby. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, y'all wanna see my shoes? Mm, mm. These right? are my shoes. I was gonna say, are you flexible? Oh, I am. I see. <sighs> They ain't getting that. You got to oh pay. God. I can't that. even do that. But yeah, see, these are my shoes because I'm super cozy. And I had to come on. Um, uh, Slip and giggles, very cozy. Mm -hmm. I ain't putting these titties out today. No. Right? Because her titties the... are out. And I'm actually gay. Uh, are you gay? Are you? Are you? It's Maya. But do you do gravel? Here's the thing, people in Florida do grab it. And I personally don't buy it, but if I'm with people and they like roll it, as long as I don't see them crush up the grab and roll it in there, I'm fine. I hate that so much. I don't much. like when people add shit to shit. Yeah, I'm like, it's fine. Like, don't, what the fuck like, is that perfect. shit you're doing? Like, you don't need to be doing it. It's brown. <laughs> It's so brown and it's like crackling. Like yeah, it's I don't like, like we're any not other. roasting something. I don't like how this fire. sounds. One you, thing about this edible, your senses are up. They're heightened. You beautiful and you thick as a Thank snicker. You. But Thank um, you. Not to be weird. Is it okay if I talk oh about God, you? Oh my God, yeah. Okay, you have to have constant. Oh, about Ebony, things. I am so gay. I'm gay are you. you kidding me? Let's I'm, go to the Pride Parade together. Amen. Let's go. I'll tell them you're my wife. Are you kidding me? Come on, bitch. Yes. We're there. We're there. We're, we're there. here and we're queer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be there at your pride parade. No, we will. But won't. no, um, the senses of this power plant, it's like, it really, and you know, it's not like a weird, right, I just took right. one. 200 milligrams, it's definitely a Well, vibe. but it's 40 a piece. It's 200 milligram in the pack. Oh, 40? Yeah, yeah. In the little print right under. Look, it does, look that's, I, I missed that. See? You, That's like See? selling your soul. I got you, you just missed the fine reading that you just the sold The thing yourself. is, I have to do that because the other day, when, it, when, when I was at the airport, actually, I was taking these milligrams by Wooking on Water. Shout out to them. And they're the little gummies. And I just assumed, usually little gummies are like 10 milligrams. So I ate 10 of them bitches. And then when I looked at the thing when I was eating the last one, it said 25 milligrams you a piece. You was tore from the floor. And I said, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. It's going to be a long flight. Things have gotten really... Well, no, I couldn't... Like, I had the time of my life, but I couldn't pass out for six hours. So I watched and So that's how long your movie. flight was? Oh, yeah. You was, was in that movie. Oh, Good. <laughs> you was recognizing shit you I had never like seen. I watched four different movies. I know you was the, watching I, Christmas Story. Attendance. Like, wait, his tongue is stuck on the pole. No, I was like, the Grinch, everyone's fucking picking on him. Oh, I was <laughs> literally <laughs> watching the Grinch zoo to this motherfucker. That'd be funny as shit, the audacity. I the mayor, I want to... I'm like, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> The Grinch on something oh, would definitely yeah. be right. cool as fuck. Well, and what I think it'd be coolest on is Mushies. For those of you who don't know, Mushies is like the street name, the little nickname for mushrooms. Durr, obviously. If you're cool, you Durr. do that. But they got you capsules my now, baby. This is some new age shit. And let me tell you, it works. I do believe that these are micro doses. Product facts. Each oh, capsule man. contains a... Huh. I feel like an old Ooh, bitch. Each capsule is weight. I gotta have you here for like a group thing. So if we could have like a group session, porn stars, right? right and we're gonna fuck after. Like three women. Who would we fuck? Well, it would be me. That's one. Well, no. Three plus us. Oh, I'm We're having a... <laughs> See, I'm, 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 my senses are eluded. Right? We're making okay, some Okay, so shit. six. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is a, this is exciting. <laughs> That's a lot of bitches, a lot of pussy, a lot of pussy, a whole lot of pussy. Mm -hmm. So it would be me, you, and uh, Jocelyn Jane. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn, and then it would be uh, in the industry or not in the industry. Mm -hmm. Industry. Mm -hmm. Oh man! All right, it would be Miss Be Nasty. Hell yeah! Uh, current or not current in the industry? Does it matter? No. Belladonna. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, fuck. Yeah. If I could dig her ass up out the grave, it would be mm. Anna, Anna Nicole Smith. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, she was so hot. And she was wild, like I feel like. So she, we were, and she liked sex, you could tell. Yeah. So she wasn't playing with that shit. So it would be me, you, Jocelyn Jane. Miss, Miss B. Nasty, Nasty, Belladonna. Belladonna and Anna Nicole Smith. And we're all fucking. Yeah. See, and I like that. A little bit of old, a little bit of new. See, guys, Ooh, that's what it's really about. That's a combining the ages. Right there. I'm getting wet in my goddamn tr- <laughs> uh, penny draw. When you're uh, looking at porn online, what are you looking up? Gay porn. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah? I go down a rabbit hole. Twitter did it. Twitter did it. I didn't ask for it. Right, it did. It's because you see so it, much it all chose day. Me. Right? I didn't chose it. It I chose me. I like watching me. threesomes with like two guys. I like DP. I like gangbangs. I like MILF scenes. I love big titties. Let me show you all. <laughs> I'm blushing now. Hold up. I'm black as fuck, red as fuck. <laughs> Oh, all right, hold on. I need a shot, bro. My anxiety. All right. Um, you want a shot? Yeah. Okay, here, take. You can have whatever you want, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, baby. I might have to take you. Would you like poppy steak? Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, okay. I love steak. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see my eyebrows, but they eyebrows in this one. They eyebrows. Merry Christmas to moi. Yeah, that. They, they eyebrows. I'm sweating like a motherfucker right now. <laughs> Cut the AC on because this hot is my. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. Ooh, Won't okay. you? Can you do a three? This is your show. I don't know. Can you do a three? I've been looking yeah, at your yeah. three. Man. With my big ass thighs. At the big, big right. ass. Ooh, nice. Jeez. Oh, Lord. Wow. Now that is a woman. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to get my titties done so bad. But She's the thing is, woman. I'm such a weenie. I, like, still struggle. I Obviously, I've been getting my blood drawn for the industry for a while. But I get queasy every time. Oh, you won't even feel that. You be oh. high off of uh, shit, uh, anesthesia. The fact She's of the so matter weird. is, you take one of these... And I'll begin. Before you go. And the doctor's <laughs> talking to you, you talking to the doctor. Like, and you're like, yeah, okay. And then this is how they do you. They your IV already in. And then they be like, Hi, baby girl. So do you have a dog at home? By the time you name the dog, you woke up with new titties. I love that. I swear to God, you be knocked out like a motherfucker. You don't know anything. It's like how you asked me <laughs> about my dog. I remember what the fuck you said. Like you tricked me. Yeah, you be gone. Right. So if you go, if you do your research. Mm-hmm. And everybody have their goals. So mm-hmm. if you like what the job they do, right. like Dr. Jung, I feel like is the best booty man in the U.S. Yeah. He is. We mm-hmm. know that. Drake brings all his girls there. Shout mm-hmm. out to the BBLs. Mm-hmm. And shout out to the Naturals. Oh, my God. The thing is, I love a BBL when they look good. But I also like the girls who like the bimbo thing. Like, I think the bimbo thing is such a, like, classic and there's a right way to do it like and some people just hate it like and i'm like ah, I won't see me i had a, a horrible skiing accident last year um so i kind of was not supposed to you're not supposed to do real contact sports when you do cosmetic it's just i'm a doctor probably won't right tell you for right sure. yeah but it was paid big pay mm-hmm. and i decided to drink my 1942 and go skiing anyway it's a bad idea I fucked myself up, but the fuck up was over time. Oh yeah, I got fucked up good. Oh my god, no! My whole right side, so I had to do some reconstructing oh. to the right side of my body. Um, yeah, so it fucked some fuck. shit up, but I got it fixed. Right, and right. The fact of the matter is, when you're doing something again, it's just like do it right. You are arch- if you decide to go ahead and chisel and give you what God didn't bless you with. Right. I feel like you should um, kind of, it's you like a building, like the Eiffel Tower. In right. Without, mm-hmm. the ne- without the heroin needles. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've been to Paris, but they got a lot of those. Be careful. In the Eiffel Tower. But <laughs> the fact careful. of the matter is, it's just like you got to like, you are architectural design. So do your research. And if you have your goals, like we were just talking about. Right, right. Like go to that doctor, spend that money. And if you don't have the money, wait for tax return. Hell yeah. You're the only fan. You know, sell some lemon. But pay your taxes Lemonade. quarterly. That's what I mean. Oof. That's sell a, some weed and some right? goddamn hey, alcoholic weed. Give it weed. to Spliffs and Giggles. Give it to Spliffs and Giggles. <laughs> 
for award season, it's coming up. Do you participate? Do you go to conventions? Because you are usually nominated since you've been in the industry. Is that something that you enjoy? Are you going? There's oh. a lot of shows. Okay, we're not just talking about AVN. There's XBiz, XRCO, Night Moves. Flesh like, there's bot. so much flesh bot. Like, there's a lot. Um, usually, I do go because, and it's not because I am nominated. Right, right. It's just to show the support, and usually mm, they mm-hmm. pay, they have me sign for them. Mm. Um, however, yeah. Um, I don't know if this makes sense to you. You're a dinosaur legend in this world. <laughs> yeah, 2013, so I was still playing Mario Kart on Sega. <laughs> you know, it cost, and I had a shush when I was watching porn. You know that. <laughs> that kind of porn. It's 11 a.m. in this motherfucker. You're supposed to be asleep. Ran your mama card up. Good. Being a creep. But my point is, um, there is a time where I feel like you have to know when you hit your ceiling and certain things. Yeah. You know, so I, most of the time I do these conventions. Right. I'm working. Yes. I don't even see the convention. When I go to the bathroom, there's security behind me. And they yep. bring me right back to work. Right. So um, if uh, this year, if I was to do ABN, because of course last, this, this year, last year, right. you know, it was right. in January of this year, I was working like a dog. Mm-hmm. I had a sign for browsers for, and you know, very humbly speaking. Right. And right. I had my billboard campaign going on, and I yes. had hosting. So my time is never the, 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 the like, where you can walk around and see what everybody else is doing and say hi to your friend that's doing some shit. I'm signing, which is dope. Right. But if I do go this year, which I'm supposed to do x Shout out to x They mm-hmm. gave me my own booth. They sponsored me. Exotica is another one who's always sponsoring me. Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah. I don't really want to be working right, right. all day. Like I love to see my fans, but y'all can see me when I go pee. Yeah. Like, I want to go pee. Yeah. Can I go pee? Right. Like, without all the shenanigans. Oh, my God. Yeah. It gets overwhelming. Can I go say hi? To Adriana at her booth. Oh my God, without go getting say, like bombarded. Like, to, yes. like can, do I got to think, oh shit, man, I got to go back to my booth. I can't mm-hmm. even go get me a dick sucker. And they be sucking right. a dick sucker. I be wanting to get me a lollipop dick sucker. Jocelyn brought me one. Yeah, them she motherfuckers. You be sucking on that motherfucking dick for days. You got to put it on tissue, you fuck Hell with the yeah. wrap. You, this is the, the longest nut in the world, and mm. your jaw be hurt like motherfucker sucking <laughs> shit out there. You get a green apple one, you toe up, I promise. Yo, anyway, that's a little story. <laughs> but the fact is, if I do go, I right. just want to be able to be more in, in the mix of the whole right. situation. Right, convention, yeah. So I'm thinking about it. But of course now, I'm supposed to sign for Avian this year. Right. And I'm like, damn, back in the Matrix. Now then, I got to no, work. this is perfect because... Spliffs and Giggles is going to be coming to AVN. Word. And we would love to see Ebony and her element. Yo. As well as we're going to have some goodies for you. Yo, I'll sign for you, motherfuckers, every day. <laughs> Y'all keep me looted. I'm comfortable. As my, I'm, <laughs> I'm gay as fuck right now. Yeah. I'm seeing rainbows. I ain't take no shroom. Right. No uh, mushy. But we but can I in Vegas. Power plant. Yeah. Power plant. We so I definitely that. fuck with y'all. Like, I, it's a vibe all the time. And I really appreciate y'all for bringing me on this motherfucker. Um, I'm in the trenches. I seen an iguana today. Actually, on the news. <laughs> on God, on the news. I seen, like, first of all, let me tell you about the news, and I'm going to tell you about what I'm about to say. On the news, they had an alligator. And I go to Pompano Beach. Right. And, like, literally be falling asleep because it's so beautiful. But just imagine you wake up to an alligator walking around. They yeah. had an alligator swimming, and he was walking around the street in this bitch. You, I'm in Florida, babe, if you didn't know the location. And this shit is the trenches. Then you got like eight type of black people. I, sw- I ain't I never seen this shit so in my life. Many different and I'm from New York, babe. You got all kind of niggas. But I mean, these is kind of nigga niggas. Like you got, <laughs> not like that. I fuck with my people. If right. you my person, you know what the right. fuck you I'm talking about mean, right but now. But there really are. They got Zoles. They got the Jamaicans. We got, they got the uh, This is like a whole 1998 dance hall shit in New York. Right. Like I'm seeing everybody and I love it so much. And they got like people like me just sprinkled Like in it there. rain out here, but it don't rain, rain. Like you in the whole flood, oh, babe. You can't in... even drive through this bitch. Right, yeah. They got frogs. Like 
Bro. We got um, armadillos. Do you hear what the fuck's going on? I saw one, here? no, in my housing complex. I, I was so like, excited. I'm trying to go to Publix. <laughs> it might be an alligator. <laughs> like, I don't fuck with shit like this. It's I'm crazy. from a city girl. I'm not a country right, girl. Right, right. So, I love the country. It's fucking, you know what I'm going to do, I know Ebony. you do. You from Washington. Yep, I'm about to get you, no, I'm about to get y'all to come to Washington. We're going to stay in a cabin for a weekend. We'll have production there to shoot for us. And we are going to get rowdy. You know I'm going to fuck with you, baby girl. But, hey, we I'm, won't go skiing, though. But I I'll take you no sledding. Possums. God well, damn. I can't promise that because a possum is I'm not. I'm clean. not eating no rabbit. Oh my God, no, Abby. They've been we'll eating have a rabbit chef. on Twitter. I don't know what's going on. They are. They're also eating Baloo, which is the birds. I know a nigga named Baloo. He was <laughs> Muslim when I was growing up. Baloo. This is retarded. They cooking Baloo. Check it out. Y'all are amazing. Everything about you is put together like a feather. Ebony, You're we delicate. appreciate you so much. You have been such a joy to have on. Yo. Do you want to give a shout out to any of your sites? Um, Onlyfans.com slash Ebony underscore Mystique. It's really not a fucking production or electric. All you got to do is Google my name. Boom, Ebony bitch. Mystique. You're going to find what you're looking for. <laughs> You might find what you're not looking for. Oh, you're going to find some shit. It track. depends on who you're hey, talking look good. to. It's what you're looking for. And I promise you. I'm not you. fucking with y'all, young boy. <laughs> I ain't fucking with you mid-age, nigga. You know what I'm fucking with? Your granddaddy. Your great-granddaddy. Oh, God. I got a few years with this motherfucker. He nice as shit. And ain't no trouble. And they rich as fuck. They don't already work their entire life for mm -hmm. this. So I'm, look, I'm not checking for y'all. It's cool. We could be friends for the night. Bring me to your grandpa. <laughs> that's what we need. And that's all I'm trying right? to tell y'all. So we're not having no more confusion, confliction. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Don't know nobody fuck with you. Happy motherfucking ho, ho, ho holiday. Happy motherfucking New Year and all this shit. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Split Me Giggles for catching the vibe and the live with me. Shout out to all this shit going on. It's a lot. Get you lit. It's a vibe on this show. On God, I don't know how I'm going to get home, baby. They're going to have to bring me home, baby. Because I'm not getting on the road like this with alligators, armadillos and shit. Hey, fuck all that. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm Adrian Maya. Time. This is Ebony Goddess fucking Yo. mystique. This is Swifts and Googles brought to you by the Red Eye District. Good night, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>